Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, friends, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to Philippians chapter number four. And let's look at uh, verse number 12 as our text verse of scripture. Philippians chapter number four. And we'll be looking at verse number 12. Now notice what the Bible says here. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. And friends, I certainly pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy word on this beautiful Lord's Day. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, Lord of your life. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and with his holy word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Lord of your life. You know, friends, Lord is one of those words used so frequently in Christian conversation that it runs the risk of being used too casual. Now the Greek word can be translated master or owner or authority. However, it is rendered Lord. And it suggests the one who is in charge and the one whose word is the final authority. If the same person who is Lord is also compassionate, loving, purposeful, and good, you have a combination that allows for total trust and contentment. Paul had to learn this in life, and I've learned as well. But in Philippians 4.12, he didn't know it at the moment of his conversion when Jesus said, For I will show how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. Paul was sent out to suffer. And suffer he did. But friend, he learned to be at peace in his circumstances. When he combined Lord with loving. If a loving master sent him into a difficult circumstance, Paul realized that he could be okay with that. And listen, friend. If you know Jesus as Lord, learn to trust his direction and his plan for your life. 
and learn to do it day by day. Think about this and make sure that he is the Lord of your life. Now let's pray together. Lord, we're so grateful that we can call you Lord. And God, uh, I've heard it said all my life that you won't put any more on us than we can bear. But the Bible doesn't really say that. The thing is, God, you won't put no more on us than you can bear. And you'll help us through anything that we face in life. Thank you for this wonderful devotion today. And thank you again that we can call you Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion blessed you today. And if it did, you bless someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you, and thank you so much for tuning in, and have a wonderful day today.